How's it going, people? Well, I'm out in the middle of nowhere, and I uh, just thought I would ask my uh, Muslim friends uh, if they could clear some things up for me. I don't understand Islam. I've read the Quran, but only in English. I have talked to some Muslims, uh, but I don't know. I hate to offend some of them because, you know, when you meet somebody and start liking them, you don't want to really insult them, even if you can't help it. So, I want to ask all you folks, because I probably don't know you and you don't know me, if you could clear some points up. I've got five questions, and um, I would love to hear some video responses, you know, or see, some, see your faces. Yeah, but if you don't want to do that, I'll settle for text, you know, uh, comments. Uh, everything is unfiltered. Uh, nothing is set to approval only. You can your your responses will go up automatically. Your comments will stay up. Uh, I do have comment voting uh, enabled though. All right, question one. Why did Allah? wait until the seventh century of the common era to have the Quran written. I mean, why not just give it to Adam and Eve? It probably would have been corrupted then. Anyway. Two. Why did the angel Gabriel choose an illiterate nobody to dictate all his message to? I mean, the prophet had to dictate that dictation to somebody who could read and write, so they could write it down. Why not just tell the message to the person who could write in the first place? Question three. Why are the Quran's linguistic limitations touted as evidence of its authenticity? I have been told if you have not read the Quran in Arabic, you have not read the Quran. And if you don't get it, it's because you're reading it in English, you barbarian. So, I mean, I think God could probably write a, you know, the Almighty wouldn't be limited to just Arabic, or even English for that matter. So, I don't know. There might be a reason for that, and you might know what it is, so please share. Question four. Why is the Quran so vague and rambly? I would imagine the Almighty could write a much better book than that. I mean, why is it not linear? Why is it all over the place, you know? Five, final question. If, now let me uh, preface this first. I've been told when I've asked some Muslims that I can't judge Allah by today's standards. You know, him marrying six-year-old Aisha and deflowering her three years later. I mean, it showed some restraint. I mean, he was getting old, you know. So, five. If Muhammad can't be judged by today's standards of conduct, then why do we need to respect him or the Quran in the 21st century? Which is, you know, by today's standards. Anyway, I hope you will let me know. I will watch and listen to every video response. And I'll check the, the comment section as well. Please share. I look forward to hearing from you. Peace. The fuck out. And have a wonderful Whatever the fuck it is you're having, I mean, God, look at this. <laughs> Bye. Please enlighten me. And try not to hate, honestly. I'm not really trying to piss you off. I just... That just comes naturally to me. <laughs> Bye.